so good morning thank you for joining and so we have completed understanding on what routing is all about how exactly assignment can be routed to an individual user which is to a work list of an individual user also we understood how exactly you can route assignment or a work object to a work basket and also we understand the relationship between a work basket and a work queue and how they are related to each other this is something which we have accomplished in our past two classes perfect today's topic of discussion is sla kind of you know very familiar topic to most of us service level agreement just a fancy word and it's referred to as sla let us say um, your mom asks you to do a task and she tells you say okay so and so maybe vishwas you have to trash you throw this trash by end of the day and she means six o'clock is end of the day so that is her uh you know goal time whatever time she wants you to complete that when you have not done that she reminds you again she tells at six o'clock she is like hey vishwas you have not completed this i want this to be done within an hour so seven o'clock is your deadline which your mom has drew a deadline let us say you have been having fun and you didn't complete that task at seven she asks your dad do you know i asked him to do this and he has not even done that and i have so much other stuff to do doesn't it happen in our houses guys yes no yes yes and at times she also tells like okay he is not able to do it and if you can complete it that is also something a task which was there for you and got routed to someone else based on the sla breach this is one like basic understanding of sla sla is nothing but agreement that a task has to be done in a given period of time why do we need it sla is needed because you know any task comes with the time boundary yes or no for example marriages marriages are like as soon as you reach for girls it's pretty early but for men as soon as you reach 25 your parents are like oh i think you are reaching the marriage age by 27 you should get married that's their first goal time which they set you is like by 27 you should get married and then you don't get married and still you are having fun by 29 they are like this is too late you have to get married is what they say by 30 they close that task they are like 30 you have to get married and you get they get you married that happens to us like there is a time timeline against everything for example when you order something let us say something on amazon you order something they give you a sla like by this day this product is going to reach don't they give you a sla uh, just a, a timeline against a given task yes or no Yes, yes. Haven't we seen that it happens? It happens in our day-to-day -day lives. So many places it happens. For example, let us say uh, you have your mask card to be signed by your one of your parents. Let us say you have to you got your mark sheet today and you have to get it signed by your parent. Your father is out of town. Let's assume he is going to come back by in two days. if he doesn't come back the task has to be completed anyhow because the sla is breached because you have to take that and submit back now that the sla is going out of the urgency is increasing maybe your mom in chime in and she will sign for you doesn't it happen for us guys because the task is driven by a timeline there is a urgency for the task when you got it the urgency was zero however as the days passed the urgency kept on increasing why because the task has to be completed and it has a time time essence associated with that task do you agree yes sir, yes, sir no perfect so in pega also a given task comes with a sla for example if you are working on a work object and you route it to someone let us say to your manager you are applying for a leave you are you route it to a manager 
let us say next week you want leave and you route it to a, that item of leave request went to your manager it is routing which we saw in the previous task the approval task went to your manager and let us say he is not available don't you think the work object should explicitly you know by automatically it should get routed to the manager who is available once a given time is met for example the work object you routed to your manager and it is there in his work list for let us say two days after two days doesn't make sense keeping there you can define and tell if this is not approved for two days then take it to his higher manager does it make sense yes if he doesn't act on that let us say if sla is not there in a flow that means that that work work object is going to sit in his work list forever and there is no you know accounting up for that does it make sense it's like if vishwas is not going to uh, trash it and your mom is not going to escalate your father the trash is going to be there forever he is never going to act on that to be able to act on that there should be a urgency with that right by 5 a.m. by 6 p.m. it has to be thrown out or else the 7 p.m. is the deadline and if you pass the deadline then it has to be escalated to the right person which is your dad in this case in the same way if the leave request you apply for is not approved within 2 days you want this to be routed to some other person or whoever is the next manager why because that task was not completed by the current manager in a given period of time don't you want that to be routed to the right person or else your item is going to say that your approval is there. your request is never going to be approved does it make sense guys yes no yes yes perfect so that's sla all about let us try to see in pega how exactly we can implement such a rule and uh, main at alpha at a high level the simplified version of sla is that that's what we are trying to do all we are saying is we want a time frame or a measure or accountability around every process and we want to implement it in day to day lives we implement it in one way or the other right when your exams are nearing like you have to prepare in advance if you prepare in advance it's good or else at least one week in advance that is like you know you are already close to the exam or at least on a day before exam that has to be done because it's already escalated right you have to prepare for that that means everything comes with a time boundary associated with that anything if you take for a matter of fact the same thing is true for any workflow you try to implement it comes with a time bound you order something on amazon it comes with a time frame like there is a time limit associated with that everything does it make sense guys it's also true for most of your credit card billings if you don't pay it within the stipulated time then you have penalty don't we see that if you don't pay on time then you'll have interest applied to it so every process comes with its own sla this time frame they call in this industry as service level agreement why they like these jargons you know they want to call stuff with a specific term that's why they call it sla workflow process they can just say doing work they didn't say that but the, there's a standard they have set and they are calling it in a certain term that's what it is so always try to understand what is the big picture behind that particular term so it makes it easy for you to understand any concept so let's try to see where does this sla rule roll up under let me go to my records category and then when i expand the process category i should have something called as service level agreement am i able to find it yes so sla rule is a process category rule or a process rule something which is associated with the process which is true right every process comes with its own timeline that's why they have grouped it under that which makes sense so these are the existing sla rules which are available within pega we can create our own but let's try to open some existing one and see what does it have right for example even if you are let us say you are a mailman or you are someone who is working for amazon shipping then you know 
based on if he is a prime customer that means that that has higher priority if he is not non prime then he has more time more time to be delivered yes or no don't we see that if you are a prime member then the delivery there is a time limit for your delivery it has to come within two days or whatever time duration they specify this, however for non prime members you can deliver any time don't we see that the px obj class for sla rule is rule obj service level and if you open the service sla rule you will see something like initial urgency there are something called as service level definitions there is something called as goal which is nothing but time goal time there is a deadline time by 6 pm the goal is to throw the trash by 6 pm once the goal is not met your mom is going to remind you the deadline is by 7 pm i want you to be want this to be thrown away whatever time occurs after the deadline is passed is past deadline and past deadline is always escalation your dad is going to come into the picture yes sir no that's what you discussed right that's what it is like very simple it's uh, though the rule form might look pretty fancy end of the day that's what they are trying to achieve here let's try to see let's try to stitch that analogy with this workflow which we have built and see that so we saw that sla is a process rule it's a process rule it comes under the process category and it's a process rule and the px obj class for that is this perfect of course it contains you know sla uh, contains you know urgency like there's urgency associated with any sla i mean how urgent is this item for example for a prime member it's urgent you have to submit it if you have not met a certain this thing uh, a timeline then that's going to be escalated there are escalation options also we'll see all this escalation options are associated with that there are time in there are intervals like like goal deadline and pass it these are intervals nothing but time frames intervals are nothing but time frames you get an interval when you are in school you get an interval for 20 minutes after your initial three periods are done right and where can this be applied this can be applied at assignment level as well as flow level we can apply this at assignment level in process flows and flow level in screen flows we haven't done flows yet so it might be little you know this thing don't worry about that just now understand that at assignment level as well as flow level both the levels you can apply this is what you should understand so what all intervals does this have when you go back to the rule form you will see that three intervals are there goal deadline and pass deadline is or no there is a goal interval there is a deadline interval and there is a past deadline interval past deadline goal deadline and past deadline there are three intervals very important you need to remember this they will ask you how does pega cad uh, perform sla operations we will have to tell that three intervals are there one is goal deadline past deadline time this time is when your dad comes in picture he is like you didn't trash it let me take care of this guy is what he says does it make sense guys but you will be like how are how are they how is this be even going to be calculated might be your question how are they going to calculate this so let us say in the same example where vishwas has to throw the trash as soon as his mom tells him you have to trash this the goal time starts in the sense the time the sla starts kicking in telling okay the time is ticking he has let us say she informs him at 4 o'clock Six o'clock is his goal time, so the SLA starts at four o'clock. 
he has 120 minutes to complete that task 120 minutes to complete that task let's say deadline is you know three hours which is for example goal time if let us say he had to he got this task at 4 p.m the goal time is two hours which means 6 p.m is his goal time reach whatever time for example if the this is the goal time and let us say if his deadline is three hours that means the time like the goal time the deadline time triggers at 7 pm which is for example both the time start at the same moment for example at 4 pm if he was asked to do the task at 6 pm his goal is goal time has reached by this time he should have completed the task if he has not done that the next timeline which he is going to go into is the deadline time which is three hours the three hours start at 4 pm also as soon as the the goal time had started at the same time deadline time also starts so at 7 pm he completes three hours since this task was assigned to him that is when his deadline is met same way the past deadline however the moment the deadline time is completed the past deadline time will start let us say the past deadline time is one hour this deadline time starts at 7 pm though so 8 pm becomes his past deadline we'll see this also don't worry you might be like okay will we be waiting for four hours and three hours and stuff like that to see that now we can also specify this in minutes we'll validate using that does it make sense guys so if the goal time is two hours then by 6 pm he should have completed the task if the deadline is three hours by 7 pm the task would have got completed if the the past deadline time is one hour then by 8 pm the past deadline time has already reached does it make sense yes. one thing very important here to understand is the goal time and the deadline time starts calculating at the same time in the sense when the task got assigned that is when it will start triggering the two hours as well as the three hours 4 pm it starts counting the goal time for two hours which is 6 pm and deadline time also starts calculating exactly at 4 pm so at 7 pm the deadline time is reached the system calculates like that however the past deadline time is calculated once the deadline is reached for example once the 7 pm is reached that one hour thing will be counted does it make sense guys very important you will be given a sla duration and they will ask you what is the goal time here what is the deadline time here when do you think this task will be completed so we you need to know this basics clearly does it make sense and if you see yes. this particular rule form there is another aspect associated with this which is called as urgency see deadline has a urgency how urgent is this item and this value can vary from 0 to 100 100 being max or 1 to 100 you can say 100 being max but it is being calculated in some way for example there is urgency calculation urgency is nothing but what is the priority of this task for example you might have 10 items to be delivered as part of your today's job in amazon but you need to know which one is urgent in the sense which one is prime member and which has to reach by what time do you understand the urgency does it make sense for example Vishwas has to pick up his sister from school as well as he has to put through this trash but both these tasks have different urgency yes or no do we agree see but 5 pm her school is done but he can't let that 
item stay because he has a 6 pm trash clearance that holds priority why because he has to go and pick up her first so he has to accomplish that task in the sense the urgency of the task is higher compared to the trash one does it make sense yes yes no okay so in this rule if you see in the sla rule there is an initial urgency which is already set for a task and then from there you also have you know a goals urgency and deadlines urgency and past deadlines urgency but how is this calculated how is this urgency calculated we'll see that also the max value for urgency is 100 on every interval you can assign them see every interval has a urgency associated with that and you can call this sla rule on that assignment or anything we'll see how exactly the urgency is calculated let us take an example let us say um, we'll call this urgency calculation so do we understand what is urgency urgency is nothing but the priority of the task how how much is it a priority right like the same example we are seeing like if he has to pick up i think picking up his sister holds a higher priority in the tenth, in the sense it's more important as a task right does it make sense the calculation is pretty simple if you see we, the, we did have an initial urgency already set there it's initial urgency plus interval urgency the interval could be anything which is goal time deadline time or pass deadline time how we are equating this to which was situation where he has to pick up the sister or he has to throw the trash same thing is true for the items which are there in your work list same thing is true for someone who is going for amazon's delivery same thing is true for someone who is going out for zomato's delivery for example someone is going out on zomato's delivery whatever is something on the way or closest will be his first priority won't make sense he going so far and coming back because the food is hot now he has to deliver it to the closest person who is available for him the first only then he can go further does it make sense what is the urgency with respect to any task though he has to deliver all the 15 items in the city today he has to plan out his map and see who is located where so that he can have right urgency but if a system is smart enough to know where who is located where it will assign the urgency accordingly it will tell okay this has urgency 30 40 50 or whichever is closest he'll put it put that as urgency as 100 does it make sense yes no guys that's how you should be think, thinking about when we try to decide about urgency or sla for a matter of fact so how will we calculate it for example the initial urgency i'll just use a short form iu initial urgency was set to let us say five this is just a number it there's nothing uh, no metric to it it's just a number from uh, zero to hundred right let's say initial urgency is five and then the goal urgency let us say uh, the goal time urgency they have specified as 20 at this point of time you know the urgency will be initial urgency plus gt's urgency which is equal to 25 the urgency here is 25 why because you have to add the initial urgency to this does it make sense yes perfect In the same way if i go to the deadline time urgency and let's say this is also specified as 20 in the rule form this is nothing but iu plus gt plus dlt which will be equal to 45 does it make sense 
Does it make sense, guys? Yes. Perfect. Let us say the we did the deadline time, goal time, and the past deadline time. Let us say P D L T urgency is equal to let us say forty five. Now same thing, I U plus G T plus D L T plus P D L T, which will equate to ninety. Yes or no? And this value ends at hundred. The max value, all this cumulatively, will be maxed at hundred. If anything goes beyond that, it will be stopping at hundred. The max value will be stopping at 100 that's the max it can go for do it make sense yes or no perfect so what if these are reaching if a flow is reaching these at these numbers what does it mean what do we want to do for example he didn't throw the trash and it's like already 9 pm what does that mean it has to be escalated it has to go further to someone. For example, you are expecting an item by today. You didn't. You didn't get it. You there are two three days passed now. What happens? The item automatically gets escalated to the Amazon support, or Amazon support reaches out to you, telling that oh, because the item got escalated in their queue, they'll say sorry, the container which was bringing it got had a failure because of which we are not able to send. So they reach out to you. How do how do they know this item got escalated to them? This item got escalated to them. Same mechanism is available within Pega as well. As part of escalation, you can do many things. See, when the goal time is met and then if it if nothing has happened, you can specify an escalation mechanism. These actions are nothing but escalations. What do you want to do? Once the goal is met, let us say as soon as you are not done at, as soon as he didn't throw the trash at 6 o'clock, she wants to escalate right then to someone you can do that you can do multiple operations here what all can you do if you see if you just click on the actions here so you can run an activity in the sense once this is not met run this activity and maybe perform some some operation some operation you can do or call a specific flow or apply a data transform to apply something or advance the flow from the current stage to the next stage or notify the assignee that sorry this item is not available and because of some reason this couldn't go further or notify the manager telling that oh this person didn't complete this task can you please take a look at it notify a party someone who is associated with this particular workflow notify them and tell sorry it is stuck here and it has to be done or transfer for example this particular person who had to work on this particular work object he is not available so transfer to someone who is available or run an activity perform some operation in that activity and you know do do something do we understand how escalation can be achieved as part of actions Yes. All these operations you can do. If a given task didn't meet a goal time, you can perform any such operation. Maybe you are okay with goal. You go to deadline. In deadline, if you didn't meet, you can perform same operations. In past deadline also, you can perform the escalation options. Escalation can happen at any level. Maybe some small mistake, your teacher gets upset and she calls your parents just for that reason. So goal time met, she called. Sometimes she lets you go for the first mistake. Second mistake you did, after that she calls them. Oh, I already took care of him for first time. First time I let him go. This time he again, he repeated the same thing. He's bunking the classes without my permission. So I am calling you guys. The principal calls them. This is deadline time invite. What is past deadline? Oh, he bunked and also was caught smoking at the back gate. Past deadline. Now he has escalation at this level. Does it make sense, guys? Yes, no. All these operations you can do as part of escalation. Very interesting. This rule is helping us understand how exactly you can put a time boundary around a workflow or a work object. We will be using this rule. We can specify what the timing are on three intervals, goal, deadline and past deadline as well as there is an urgency for that particular uh, deadline. What should be the urgency at this thing? What should be the urgency at 
when it is past the deadline when is what is what should be the urgency when it is a deadline what should be the initial urgency all that you can specify also you can perform some escalation options perfect so i think this is kind of you know a good understanding for us to proceed further and try to see a demo or understanding with respect to this thing we have understood that sla is a process rule so any sla you have to create should be under the process category let us say in our today's uh, flow which is our customer flow let's go there mm, you need to add some changes to see this sla in action to see the sla in action let us say let me open my customer flow So we have two places where the route, uh, the work is getting routed. One is here, where it is going to the work queue or work basket, and this uh, and there is other place which is approval info where we are routing it to the manager. Yes or no? Yes. Let us say if the manager is not responding or for completing a task in a given time, I want this to be routed to a specific user or transfer this to a specific user. Does it make sense? The requirement. The task was routed from here to a manager. The manager didn't complete the task in a given time. Now I want this to be routed to a different user or transfer this particular work object. This guy is not doing it. Transfer it to the one who is going to complete it because there was this was available for him for the, this much particular days of time. He is on leave or for whatever reason he is not able to complete that. I want this to be completed by that guy if the goal time is already met does it make sense something which we can implement yes no yes we can try that right yes perfect okay let's try to do that mm. let us to do that uh, okay i want to discard this don't want that we have understood what it is all about so if you see mm, operator every operator has an access group yes or no he is associated to a group to which he belongs which we saw and we also implemented two access groups for managers also we implemented in the same way like if you see alpha auto authors is the access group for developer putter for manager in the same way we have alpha auto managers yes or no group of managers will be belonging to this same way users will be belonging to alpha auto users does it make sense yes right perfect so let us say we want to transfer that work object to a user to complete it but we don't have a id for him though we have the access group we don't have an id for him let us create an id for that particular person all I can do is I can use a save as here only and then modify that. Let me do save as of this particular operator and I will call this guy alpha or let us call him user at the rate alpha user at the rate alpha. A new operator we are creating and he should be pointed to oh it's already there perfect let us open this guy if he is already there the created should have already created that that's fine let us open him let's see what access group is he mapped to See, he is mapped to authors. I don't want him to be pointing to authors. I want him to be pointing to alpha users. Uh, alpha auto users. Does it make sense? We call him yes. user alpha. So all I have created done is here like you know modified the existing user operator and made sure he is pointing to this particular access group. Why right? to figure out this SLA how it is working? I will need that to 
do that i am trying to make that change alpha auto users save it perfect this is done let's go back to our work class of course sla can be part of process category let's try to create a sla right click on this process category create click on service level agreement under process category sla rule rolls up that's why i am trying to create one under my work class like we have created all the rules similarly sla1 is what i want to call it create perfect now this is giving me a similar form which i saw before however all the values are blank here because we haven't provided anything so far we just created a sla1 rule make sense guys understand how we can create this let us specify a urgency initial urgency of 5 let us say i want to specify initial urgency of 5 and then let us add a goal time goal time how many hours do you guys have so that we can test this guys how many hours are you guys available let us specify in minutes okay i'll say two minutes i want this when a task is routed using this sla rule i want the goal time to be two minutes the task will be with that user for two minutes if he is not doing that i want to do some operation let us specify that later and the urgency increases from 5 to 20 what will be the urgency here guys when goal time is met 25. very good so exactly what we discussed here you have to add the initial urgency to your intervals urgency here the interval is goal time so you add it two minutes is what i want to wait I added that let us say the deadline time is some three minutes and the amount of urgency is 30 so by this year it will become 55 whenever that is met similarly the past deadline time let us say is one minute and i'll specify that also as 30. do we understand how we can create a sla rule guys yes Yes. I'm sure you guys we won't be able to wait to see what past deadline time is going to do let us say once the goal time is met I want to perform some escalation as soon as Vishwas has not thrown the trash by six I want to perform some escalation on him I am not going to let him go for cricket on the following day let us try to do some escalation as part of it similarly we want to do something in our flow let's click on this particular thing this is where I can take action what do I want to do? Let us say if that guy, the alpha manager one has not completed the task. What can I do? I can transfer that. Yes or no? I can transfer the task to some other user. See, as soon as I say transfer, you will see to whose work list do you want to transfer is what it is asking. Yes or no? I would say I want to transfer to user at alpha is the operator to whom i want to transfer this audit note manager has not completed it make sense guys yes save this all we are doing here is specifying a sla rule all that we discussed we are putting that in action of course remember to check in because if you're trying to validate it from different user it won't appear we learned it the hard way so let's not no checked out rules perfect if you click on this right icon you will know if there is anything in your checkout and you can check in that right now i have nothing because i checked this in let's go to the customer flow check out this rule and make the changes I want to specify the SLA. Where can I specify the SLA rule? 
we can apply this at assignment level in process flows let's go to the process flow what is the assignment which gets routed to the manager approval info open that guy and see if you have anything where you can specify the sla do we see something called as service level agreement guys cancelling this coming back again the sla has to be applied on a certain assignment the assignment right now vishwas has is to throw the trash you have to apply the sla only for that you can't apply sla for his breakfast at that time no you can't do it the assignment is nothing but something a user has to take action on vishwas has to throw that trash that is the action is pending a task which is pending for him the sla is associated with that by 6 pm he has to complete that particular task same thing is true for here the approval info assignment is where the manager has to approve this particular insurance request if he has not done that in a given time frame i want to perform some operation which is i want to transfer this to some person who can complete it does it make sense to specify my sla i have to go on the assignment and you will see a section where it talks about service level agreement are we able to find that sir no guys pick the sla rule you have created yeah. sla 1 submit this guy and check in work in progress check in let's try to run the flow meanwhile we'll also log in into that guy user at alpha so that we are not surprised um, local let us see how many work objects does he see in his work list when a user logs in something which he sees is his work list yes or no list of tasks he should be completing he has two here c07 these are from past ones nothing with a hyphen or anything are we able to find anything with a hyphen guys a1234 no it is not there so this is good so let us see if our SLA is working. Let's try to run this flow. It's not there. So if you see, three parties are associated with this now. Not just user one but alpha alpha managers also are associated the current user admin at alpha is also working on this particular work object remember this work id one two zero seven hyphen one submit two zero seven hyphen one let's just go with blank details for now just to see that thing in action auto vehicle now this gets routed to work you yes or no yesterday we implemented this yes, to implement this you can go there or we can also click here and also do that do we have an assignment let's check yeah we can do it from here only let us submit this guy once the last flow action is done this gets routed appropriately approval info do in two minutes from go now on. go and check your history also it's completed right and now the sla has kicked in 
the SLA on this particular work object has kicked in. They are saying 2 minutes, so it is 18. So by 20, we should be able to see that the alpha manager has to approve it within 2 minutes. If he doesn't approve, who will be getting that task, guys? User at alpha should be seeing that task. Yes or no? Right. Let me open that guy, Alpha Manager, in another tab. Alpha manager one and this guy is not going to complete the task in time. That's the agreement. Yes or no? Perfect. Yes. So he does have this task in his work list. Do you see this in his work list? Right. Hold on. Let us go back to We go to the dev studio and then switch to user portal so in one minute that has to be complete i think the time has already reached let us see if he's still there if the object is still there at con we saw that it was there in his list launch portal user portal perfect the task might be there or might not be because we've just specified 120 seconds there see the task is gone do you see the task here guys when we initially logged in, it was there. Now it is gone. Yes or no? So what happened? The SLA kicked in. Now let us refresh this guy. Right now he doesn't have the task. Refresh this guy and you should be able to see the task. Are we able to see? What is the priority, guys? Medium priority. About one minute. Due about a minute ago. Why? Because the deadline time is one minute. Yes or no? Do we understand how exactly SLA is working here, guys? He has to take action. He can open this thing and take perform the operation and then that thing will be resolved. The goal time or the random will be resolved but right now we have not told where this has to go from here so it will be staying here and after one minute you will see the priority will change what is the priority high priority item he has to pick up the sister from ta from the school because it's a high priority item does it make sense guys The urgency is getting calculated as the time is getting passed. A high priority item sits with this guy. How is this happening? All the magic through the SLA rule which you have specified. A process category rule which helps you bind time around your workflows. Yes or no? Yes. Very important. This is the only understanding you will need with respect to SLA. This is what you'll be using to, you know, create your workflows and add SLA for like having a time entity around those SLA or those, uh, you know, those workflows is what you'll be doing. So after three minutes, this has to change. It has to change to the past deadline sort of a SLA. Do you see how as the time is passing, 
it is also moving the item from that current basket to the other guy whoever is responsible here along with that it is also specifying a deadline and this guy has to complete with this and the urgency is changing also here also you can perform something like you can move it back if this guy is not doing it go to his boss to complete it you applied for a leave your current boss is on leave the boss on top of that also is on leave what do you do you're stuck but your leave has to be approved then you design your flow such that a bottleneck like that will never occur it keeps transferring till it finds the right person does it make sense yes no perfect yes let us see if this has changed refresh this guy see it's in high priority due in 4 minutes does it make sense guys the takeaway from today's class is what is sla all about it's a time driven rule which rolls up under process category and can be used at the assignment level to specify if the task has to be completed in a given stipulated time if that is not met you can perform certain operations like transferring that particular assignment to the right person or running a activity at the back end and doing some operations for example end of the day if the file was not sent let us say you are running a stock exchange if the file was not sent tomorrow the dollar value might change so you will have to set the new value maybe use a data transform fetch the latest value and set that so all the values which are necessary for that particular stock stock exchange following day will be set there does it make sense you can perform multiple operations as part of escalation was it understood guys sla rule yes very important from interview standpoint also they will be asking you how will you calculate it how is the goal time calculated how is the deadline time calculated how is the past deadline time calculated we saw that what is escalation what is the urgency how is urgency calculation done understood guys thank you yes. that's what i had for today yes. thank you for making your time and i wish you the rest of the day goes very strong for you thank you and we will catch up in next class thanks bye